that Israel has now struck um, military camps and areas belonging to the Houthis and so of course after its war in Hezbollah, Israel is now going for the Houthis. Ghazali continues to be with us. So Ghazali, Israel has said that we will wipe out anything that poses a threat to the country. So it, it seems like an all-out war situation already. Yes, so it certainly shows that uh, whatever credibility or intelligence failure uh, which Israel faced due to October 7 attack, Israel is also like building up or sort of de demolishing that that narrative that it was weak intelligence or Israel's intelligence has got weaker. And now they're taking out one by one all those threats who have been attacking or were hostile to Israel since October 7. So Houthis, uh, just a couple of days ago when Netanyahu, the Israeli prime minister, returned or was on the way from the United States back to Israel, Houthis had launched a, a missile towards the Tel Aviv or Ben-Gurion airport in Tel Aviv. And and that is when, if you see the retaliation now that Israel has started attacking, and I miss mentioning this, that even United States State Department's statement had mentioned that how U.S. says that it will uh, stand by Israel for its defense with deterrence and diplomacy. So this has come out for the first time perhaps when Israel was, U.S. was being criticized for giving unchecked aid to Israel while it is being accused of carrying out human rights violations as well. And the mm. and United States was also being accused of allowing the situation to escalate. So now Absolutely. perhaps it, it appears that it is moving in that direction and Israel will be allowed to strike on all its hostile partners there or neighbors there like uh, Shiite militia in Iraq and the recent attack on Houthis in Yemen. Absolutely, Ghazali. Thanks very much for joining us with that perspective.